This is a story of a wonderful, caring, loving family. However, as life would have it, their strength will be tested through trials and headaches. We pick up the story on a beautiful Christmas Eve. Ouch! You poked me! Stand still! You're like a wiggle worm! Your sisters are not this hard to dress! Mom, why am I doing this? Just stand still, Johnny! But Mom, why am I doing this? I don't want to be an angel! Johnny, Preacher chose you to be an angel because he thought you would be a good angel for the play. <laughs> an angel? More like the devil. Stop it, you two. But Mom, I really don't want to... Ouch! You poked me again! Stand still! I really don't want to do this. Year after year, Johnny was chosen to be an angel. And every year, he seemed to lose more interest in the part. Ouch! I've done this a bunch of times. I can do it myself. I'm just trying to help. Poking me a thousand times is not help. Besides, I hate this part. I hate being a little angel. But Johnny, you do such a good job every year and Preacher is so proud of you for doing it. This is the last time. I promise you, Mom, I'm never doing this again. Just as Johnny promised, he never played that part ever again. As a matter of fact, as Johnny grew older, his interest in church and Bible reading dropped. Year after year, Johnny's heart just got harder and harder. This is the last bit of mashed potatoes! The last bit of corn! This is the last bit of mashed potatoes! Stop! You guys need to learn to share! Mom! Dad! This is dumb! Every year is the same thing. We're always trying to help everyone else. But the other day, Dad spent all day helping the neighbor. And who helps us? I'm tired of this. We never have enough food. Look at our neighbors. Look at Mike's house. We have tables full. And what we have? Nothing. Not even enough to feed the dog. I'm tired of this. What's wrong, honey? Were you not able to afford your medicine last week? No, with the two oldest being in college now, it's been a little hard this year. Yeah, you're right. It is tough, but don't worry. God will provide. Look, next week, I get to work a couple extra hours, so God will take care of us. <laughs> but you know what? You're right. It is different with just the three of us now, huh? Well, don't say three because the other one's coming soon. She can hear you. <laughs> Guess you're right. By the way, where's Johnny? Johnny, come sit down. I'm not eating. Johnny, come on. Christmas dinner's on the table. <sighs> Just exactly what I thought. Not enough. What? I'm out. Where are you going? Michael invited me to his house. He has plenty to eat, so I'm gonna go. Johnny, come sit down. Sit. Said, don't wait up, old man. <sighs> What's wrong this Christmas? Why are things changing? Joy has rolled away. My family is drifting. My heart is breaking. This Christmas Eve won't be the same. Yep, things would never be the same again. And Johnny's actions started going from bad to worse.
ready to go. Let's go. Well, I can't believe you sold that tip jar, man. I know. Those guys are bums. <laughs> hey, man. I'm not going home tonight. Why not? Ah, tired of my parents trying to live my life. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Say, how much you got in that jar? Mm, looks about 100. Mm. And the 200 I swiped from my old man's wallet. Man, I got 500. I was saving up for college, but I guess I'm not going. <laughs> hey, man, what if we put our money together and, you know, get out of time, town and live our life? Yeah, sounds like a great idea. Hey, I saw a party nearby, plus a hotel that's closed so we can crash there later. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Your bill is ready. Is it gonna be cash or credit? Give me a minute. You're an hour past your deadline. We're coming. Michael, Michael, get up. Michael. No, I'm still waiting. You always need to check out now. We're coming. Michael, come on. Hey, where's my wallet? Michael, let's go. Michael. Oh, that idiot took my wallet. Can't trust anyone these days. Boy, if you don't come out this morning, I'm calling the police. The police? No, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Hey, stop! Stop, you crook! I'm calling the police! Ralph, Ralph, call the police! Stop there, you crook! The police did catch up with Johnny. He spent 30 days in jail. When he got out, he should have gone home, but he didn't. His pride would not allow him. He spent the next five years sleeping in the street, wondering if he made the right choice or not. At one point, he had a good, he thought, he had gathered all his cardboard boxes to keep himself warm until somebody stole everything that he had. Many times he considered going home. But it seems like as soon as he would try to go home, Satan would give him more opportunities to keep himself in trouble. We pick up the story again now as Johnny is 20 years old, walking down the street on a cold Christmas Eve. Ouch! You poked me again! I'm sorry, honey. You need to stop moving! I'm sorry, but I'm super excited! About what? About being an angel! Oh, and you're gonna be the best angel to play! Oh, thank you. I love you. I am tired of the riches this old world can't afford. I am tired and lonely. I'm going home. I'm going home. Lot. Hey man, about the last time I saw you and I took your wallet, I know it wasn't right. Just wanted to say that I'm sorry. It's alright. You don't have to say anything. I forgive you. Really? No one forgives that fast. Well, actually, there is one person. His name is Jesus Christ. My parents taught me about him. And they said every time I was in trouble, just go to him and he'll forgive me. Forgive us? We've done too much wrong for him to forgive us. 
Well, that's where you're wrong. Actually, a few moments ago, I was just reminded what the real meaning of Christmas was. Do you know what it is, John? Sh sure. Like, you know, candy and parties and stuff like that. Things that we always did. Well, actually, it's not. It's about baby Jesus coming to Earth and being born in a manger. Oh yeah, sure, I've heard that story before. But do you really know the meaning of it? Well, I know he was born in a manger with animals and stuff like that. Well, yeah, but the reason he came was to be born in Bethlehem and then to die for us on the cross. Wow, that's a lot of love for God to send his son like that. Johnny, we don't deserve that. I know, man, but the same God that's willing to die for you and me is the same God that will forgive us. It's the same God that my parents serve. Michael, I'm going home. You serious, man? Yeah, I'm serious. Michael, maybe you should go home too. Maybe your parents already forgave you. Well, I'm out. Bye, Michael. Where are you going the other way? Right. Merry Christmas, Michael. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna say. Are they going to forgive me? Are they going to take me back? Do I look as bad as Michael says? Dad? Johnny! Come in, buddy. Dad. What's wrong, son? It's always the same thing. You never have enough to eat. Oh, but Dad, I'm not complaining. I'll never complain until the day I die. Thanks for allowing me in your home again. Son, this will always be home. Wait, where's Mom? Mom! 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 Johnny. Mom! Johnny. Mom! Dad, where's Mom? Son, sit down. As you know, your mother was sick for many years. A few years back, she got really sick and she didn't make it. But she never gave up on you. She prayed for you every night. Before she died, she made me promise to never give up on you, and I never did. I prayed for you every day, and I'm glad you're home. Yeah, I'm so hungry. This is this good apple. Who's this? This is your little brother. He's five years old already. His name is Santiago Ignacio de Leon, but we call him Sid for short. I'm so excited. Boy, you're one big wiggle worm. Sorry, I'm just so excited because I'm going to put on my costume. What costume? I'm going to be an angel. The preacher asked me to be one. I promised my dad I'm going to be the best angel in the world. <laughs> can I help you with something? Oh, yeah. Can you please help me with my wings? Yeah, sure. But you have to promise me two things. First of all, you're going to be the best angel up there. Okay. And second of all, don't move too much. Okay. You have to promise me something, too. Please don't move me a lot. <laughs> I won't. I promise. Her.